Uh, good morning, grade seven. Today, inshallah, we are studying uh, lesson number uh, lesson number four, subtracting rational number. We studied before how to add two rational number, and uh, the meaning of rational number. Rational number is a number in the form of a over b, such as that a and b belong to z, and b not equal to zero. And how to represent the rational number on the uh, the rational number on the number line, uh, and the properties of addition. Today, inshallah, we will subtract the rational number. Subtract two rational numbers with the same denominators. If I have a and uh, over b and c over p are two rational numbers, then to subtract these two rational numbers, I will put the denominator as it is and convert minus into plus. Convert minus into plus and make a plus and put the negative two c plus negative c and put the denominator as it is, as we have the same denominator. Then the result will be a minus c over b. Again, to subtract two rational numbers with like denominator or have same denominator, I will put the, uh, the denominator as it is and convert the minus into plus. A plus, I convert the minus into plus and put the negative c in the brackets. A plus negative c equal a minus c and the denominator as this. And make sure that your refraction is in its simplest form. For example, if I have 7 over 9 minus 3 over 9, have the same denominator, I will put the denominator as it is and convert minus into plus 7 over 9, convert minus into plus 3 over 9, I will put negative 3 over 9. It will be 7 minus 3 over 9 equal 4 over 9. And make sure that your fraction in its simplest form. Subtraction, two rational numbers with different denominators. In plus or in minus, you have to make sure that your denominator are same. If not same, you have to put it uh, in the same denominator. If I have a over b and c over z are two rational numbers, then a over b minus c over z equal a over b plus b negative c over d. We said that we convert the negative into plus and put the negative with c over d in the brackets. And to make the denominator same, I will multiply the denominator by each other. b times d equal to bd. And multiply by using cross multiplication. B, d times a equal a d. Put the po a positive and negative, write it in the bracket and multiply b by c, it will be bc. It will be AD, right as it is, positive times negative equal negative, right BC as it is, and BP as it is. For example, if I have 5 over 4 minus 1 over 5, they don't have the same denominator. Then I will first convert negative into positive. I will convert the minus operation into uh, plus operation and put the negative in the bracket with A over 5. It will be 5 over 4 plus negative 1 over 5. Find the same denominator. I will multiply 4 by 5. 4 by 5 equals 20. I will put 20 in the denominator and make cross multiplication. Neg uh, um, 5 times 5 equals 25. And 4 times negative 1 equals negative 4. Then I will add 25 to negative 4. It will be 21 over 20. And make sure that your fraction is the same as 4. 21 and the 20, 21 over 20 have no common factor. Then I will write it as this. Subtraction operations in Q. We started last session the operations of addition. And we say that addition has closure, closure property. Closure properties means if you have two numbers and you add these numbers, the result will be long to the rational number. Uh, Commutative property means you change the place and you get the same uh, result. Uh, Associative property means you use brackets. Uh, also, we have um, uh, we have uh, uh, additive identity means we have a number plus zero equals the same number. In subtraction, First property, Q is closed under subtraction operation. 
the result of subtraction in uh, in two rational number is a rational number. The subtraction operation in Q not commutative and not associative. We can't change the place or put bracket to get the same uh, result. Then we can't use the commutative or associative property in subtraction. There is no identity element with respect to subtraction. We don't have a, a, any uh, identity property. For example, if I have A equal to over 3, B equal 3 over 5, find the numerical value of A plus B and A minus B. To find the value of each of these expressions, we will substitute by A by its value 2 over 3 and substitute B by 3 over 5. It will be 2 over 3 plus 3 over 5. We don't have the same denominator. Then I will multiply the denominator by each other. 3 times 5 equals 15. I will put 15 in the denominator and make cross multiplication. 5 times 2 equals 10. Write the plus as it is. 3 times 3 equals 9. You have the same denominator. Then I will add 10 plus 9. 10 plus 9 equals 19 over 15. 19 over 15, I can... Make sure first you make sure that your fraction in its simplest form, or you can convert it in, in the form of mixed number. It will be one and the four over fifteen. To find the value of the expression e minus b, I will first substitute by the value of a and b. It will be two over three minus three over five. I will uh, multiply the two denominators to get the same denominator. Multiply three by five. It will be fifteen, and make cross multiplication. Three, uh, three, uh, five times two equal ten, and three times three equal nine. Put the denominator as it is, and make minus ten minus nine equal one. The result is one over fifteen, and we make sure that your fraction in its simplest form. Complete each of the following. The subtraction operation in Q isn't space and space and not space is not commutative and not associative. You can't change the places in, in the subtraction operation and you can't put bracket to get the same results. The remainder of subtraction, of subtracting two over five from negative two over nine. After from the number, you will take first the number after from negative two over nine minus two over nine. Subtract from, you will take the second number minus the first number. Negative 2 over 9, the very second number is negative 2 over 9. I will put negative 2 over 9, subtract means minus, and the second uh, first number is 2 over 9. I will put it in the second place, 2 over 9. You have the same denominator, then I will make minus. Put the denominator as it is and make negative 2 minus 2 equal negative 4. And make sure that your fraction in its number is 4. Point C, if x minus 3 over 5 equal 0, then x equal to subtract any two rational numbers and the result equals zero, that means x equals three over five. To subtract like like one minus one equals zero, two minus two equals zero. Then we to subtract two rational number or, or to, to any number and the result equals zero, that means the two numbers is uh, inverse. That means x equals three over five. I, or you can solve it as equation. I will convert negative 3 over 5 into the other, other side, it will be positive 3 over 5. Then x equals 3 over 5. Okay. The remainder of subtracting is absolute negative 2 over 3 from 0. First, you have to find the value of the absolute of negative 2 over 3. It will be 2 over 3. And we say the subtract from, you will uh, put the first, second number in the first place and the first number in the second place. Then I will make 0 minus the net value of this question is 2 over 3. Then 0, 0, uh, 0 minus 2 over 3. It will be negative 2 over 3. The additive inverse of the remainder of subtracting negative 2 over 5 from 3 over 5. Subtract it from, we will take the second number and divide it in the first place, 3 over 5. Subtract means minus and put the first number in the second place. Then I will make 3 over 5 minus negative 2 over 5. The result will be negative 1. Again, we started today subtraction between two rational numbers and 
we know the properties of subtraction. We said that Q is closed under subtraction operation. You don't have any property of subtractions like the commutative or associative. You can't uh, change the places in minus or subtraction operation or put uh, brackets to get the same results. You have no identity elements in subtraction. And you know that how to substitute the values of the letters or the variables to get the to, uh, to get the results. And you will study the multiplying rational number. We studied before how to multiply two integers by using its rule. Its rule says that if you have two uh, similar signs, the result will be positive number. If you have two different signs, the result will be negative. The same thing in the rational number. Multiplying positive by positive equal positive. Multiplying negative by negative, it will be positive. If you have the same sign, if you have the same sign, the result will be positive. But if you have different sign, the results always be negative. The, like multiplying positive by negative equal negative, multiplying a negative by positive equal negative. For example, if I have two times five, the two numbers are positive, then the result will be positive. Multiply two by five, it will be 10. Multiplying two negative numbers, they have the same sign, then the result will be always positive. Multiplying negative two by negative five, it equal, uh, equal 10. Multiplying two number have different sign. The result always be negative. And multiply two by five equal ten. Multiplying two number have the same sign. Negative two times negative five equal equal ten. Negative by negative equal positive and equal ten. Multiplying or to multiply to rational number. If I have a over b and c over d are two rational numbers. Then A over B times C over D. I will multiply numerator by numerator and denominator by denominator. A times C equal A, C. B times D equal D, D. And before multiplying, we make sure that each fraction in its simplest form. Again, to multiply or add or minus or divide, you have to make sure that your fraction first in its simplest form. For example, if I have 4 over 5 times 3 over 8, make sure that your fraction 4 over 5 and 3 over 8, four, uh, 3 over 8 in its simplest form. They are in the simplest form. As there is no common factor between 4 and 5, there is no common factor between 3 over 8, 3 and 8. I can also check the common factor between the diagonal 4 and 8, 3 and 5, up and down, up and down. By finding the common factor between the two numbers, 4 and 8 have common factor is 4. Then I can divide the two numbers by 4. 4 divided by 4 equal 1. 8 divided by 4 equal 2. And make sure that up and down and or the diagonal are in simplest form. 3 and 5 are in its simplest form as they are prime number. And there is no any common factor between 3 and 5. Then the result will be I will multiply 1 by 3 equal 3. 5 by 2 equals 10, and make sure that your result in its simplest form. If I have 25% times negative 3 over 4, we studied before how to convert the percentage uh, into fraction or decimal. 20, the percentage is a fraction, its denominator is 100. Then I can convert 25% uh, percent into 25 over 100 times negative 3 over 4. You have two rational numbers have different sign. Then the result will be always negative number or negative rational number. Then, uh, or after that, you will make sure that the two fractions are in its simplest form. 25 and 100, negative 3 over 4. Uh, look at the diagonal, 25 and 4, there is no common factor. Negative 3 and 100, there is no common factor. I will look at the fraction, negative 2 over 100 divided by 25 equal 1, divided by 25 equal uh, equal 4, and multiply divided 100 by 25, it will be 4. Then I will multiply numerator by numerator, denominator by denominator. 
one times negative three equal negative three. Four, four times four equals sixteen. And they make sure that your fraction in its assembly is four. Find each of the following in its assemblies to four. Two over five times one and one over three. You have to convert any mixed number into fraction to multiply the two rational number. Two over five, right as it is. The second number converted into fraction one times three equal four. Uh, one times three equals three, sorry. Three plus one equal four. I will convert the mixed number into fraction. It will be four over three. Two times four equal eight. And five, three times five equal 15. And we make sure that your fraction in its simplest form. Negative 0 0.1 times negative 5 over 3. I will convert the decimal number into fraction. 0 0.1, I will convert it at 1 over 10. I and suppose the negative as it is. Negative 5 over 3, right as it is. Multiplying two rational numbers have the same sign, then the, re the result will always be positive. And make sure that your numbers in the sample is 4. I will sample negative 5 with 10 divided by 5 equal 1. Negative one or one and divided ten by uh, five, it will be two. And multiply negative one by negative one equal one, and two times three equal six. The absolute value of negative three over seven, the absolute value of any number, it will convert it to be positive. Then the absolute of negative three over seven, it will be three over seven. Multiply ne by negative four over five, right, right as it is. Two rational numbers have different signs. Then I would put the negative and make sure that your number in its sense is four. Look at the fraction three and seven. It has no common factors. Negative four and five, no common factor. Negative four and seven, no common factor. Three and five, no common factor. Then multiply numerator by numerator, denominator by denominator. The result will be negative 12 over 35. The last example, negative one and one over two times negative uh, 0 0.3. I will convert the mixed number into fraction first. It will be negative three over two. And so this decimal number is not a decimal or normal decimal. It's a recurring decimal. Then I will write it on the calculator to find its a fraction. If I write this number on the calculator by repeating the digit three, it's converted into negative one over three. By finding the common factor to multiply the two rational number, I will uh, sum, uh, put the numbers in the simplest form. I can divide the three and the three by also by three. It will be the result divided by three equal one, divided by three equal one, and the multiply negative one times one equal one, two times one equal two. The property of multiplication. As we started before, in the properties of addition, we have also properties of multiplication in Q. First the property is closure property. If I have two numbers, A over B belong to Q, and C over D is belong to Q. Then to multiply the two number, A over B times C over D, multiply numerator by numerator, denominator by denominator. A times C equal AC, B times D equal BD. And also the result will be rational number. Second property, commutative efforts. Commutative efforts means you can change the places of uh, the rational number. If I have A over B and C over C of rational number, then to multiply the two numbers, you will get the result also belong to the rational number. Associative property says that associative means you put bracket to find the result or to make your operation is easier. If I have three numbers, I will multiply them by using the bracket around A over B, C over D, or C over D and D over F to get the result. Thank you for now. Can I start? <laughs> 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 